Hello, 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 and welcome to the sun shifting into Scorpio 2020. This is going to be a fuller presentation that is going to be available. It's actually already on Patreon by the time you guys see this on YouTube. And it's going to include all of the dates all the important dates that the sun is going to be especially active in your life. And it will also include personalized sign by sign breakdowns of how all of these transits and energies are going to be working in every single sign's life. So if you do jump on Patreon and remember you toggle up, you can toggle down, hop on, hop off month to month. I am here to serve you. So. Um, madams and sirs so make sure to watch if you do jump on make sure to watch for your sun sign your moon sign and your rising sign it's also called the ascendant so if you don't know what that means head over to astro.com and plug in your natal chart details you will need your birth date birth place birth time and is that it birth date place time yeah i think that's it and the year of course and they will show you everything and this one this is not anyone's birth chart but this over here where it says ac that will be your ascendant and so that's your ascendant that's your rising and in the fuller you know presentation i will explain how it does slightly differentiate between you know if you're watching for your sun your moon or your rising Okay, guys, are you ready? I am very ready. I'm a very, um, you know, Capricorn and Scorpio. We just really get each other. I like that energy. Scorpio, I, I love working with Scorpios. I've worked with a lot of um, Scorpios in my life. I've been very fortunate enough, and it's always getting a lot done and, and making incredible. I mean, the Scorpio, the two signs I work best with are actually Aries and Scorpio. It's like a lot of energy to get so much done and to be really, really successful and, and get really um, indefatigable. So um, anyway, that was a little digression, sorry. So welcome to the sun in Scorpio. What does it mean? Why do we care? Ha huh. Well, the sun is going to beam the big bright spotlight of the universe into this area of your life that Scorpio rules. Or some of you, if you have an interception, it means that there is no Scorpio that rules that energy meridian, that house of your life. It's actually a different sign and Scorpio is in that house and you have to work through that and bring that energy to the forefront and it's a whole big thing. Wow, I'm really digressing. This is so Mercury retrograde. So like I'm trying to tell you, the sun will shine this beautiful bright light into this area and we do have this right when Mercury is retrograding, speaking of which, in the sign of Scorpio. So what's gonna happen is Mercury is already the detective and going into the deep, dark basement and like pulling everything out of the closet for your purview for you to take a look at and make some sense of and, and sort of like rethink and rework and reconsider. It's all of those rewords. What the sun's gonna do is gonna give you this added ability to make faster progress. It's gonna boost up that whole little light, out, light like a little Christmas tree, lighten it all up. And so there will be a moment where um, the sun will conjunct Mercury in Scorpio. And you will see like clear as day, you will not miss it. Something that you're really supposed to see. Something that maybe has been kept from you, from your conscious awareness, from your now what I'm getting with this is actually someone, and I'm, I'm a psychic, so I'm, I get stuff. So someone watching this that I'm connecting with, it's very, very true that you are not at, I don't think it's a maturity level. I think it's a psychological, that's what it feels like. It feels all the energies up here, a psychological, you are not ready to accept certain things. So this could be traumas, memories, and letting go of certain things, or even just confronting and accepting that certain things happen, that certain things happen to you, or certain truths about yourself. And that'll be, you know, for those of you where that resonates, that'll be happening in deeper layers and deeper meanings and in different ways. So that's what Scorpio is about, is about, they're like the great magicians, the great alchemizers. Scorpio is supposed to alchemize everything into love everything into positivity. Scorpio is supposed to be like the strongest, most 
down sign to get in where the fear is, to get in where the 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 most terrifying truths of ourselves and who we are and on everything and be able to lift it up and turn it into something gorgeous, turn it into something full of truth and honesty and authenticity and conviction, personal conviction. That's the sign of Scorpio is all about personal conviction. When you got a Scorpio that's acting Sorry guys, new place, that's their, I guess they're taking out the garbage. Wow, this is really perfect for you, Scorpio. You guys kind of are like those taking out the garbage, taking out what's not working. You guys just, this, that, that's what we're doing. Every single one of us in some area of our life, we're the detective that has to find, I smell a rat, like the departed, Jack Nicholson. Smell a rat. That's all of us right now with, this, yes, yes, this hair will, it'll, it'll flatten out. See how long it takes to go completely deflated in the Patreon. Whoever's thinking about the hair. Yeah, my hair is very Aquarian today. It's like, pfft. so anyway, so you're sniffing out the rat in your life. Doesn't have to be a person. So if you're thinking of a person, <laughs> it might be, it might be, oh no. That's not fun. How long has that lipstick been on my teeth? I don't know. That's the Capricorn in me, looking like a little old grandma all the time. So you're sniffing out the rat. If you're thinking of a specific person, that could be that person that you know deep down is not, they don't make it. Like, where is that? I'm, she's showing me a circle. What does that mean? Hold on. Oh God, that's hilarious. Now she's got a sense of humor. So she's showing me the circle and it's like Scorpio's inner circle. It's like just them. <laughs> it's like, it's like everybody's on the outside. So if you're, if I did my little rat impression, my little Jack Nicholson impression, and you're thinking of a certain person, it might be that person that you've got to kind of put them on the outside of that circle again, or, you know, kind of put up a boundary between you and that person. Um, or it could be, that's like the eagle, eagle scorpion. Eagle Scorpio, or if you're, it could be a paranoia thing or another weird scorpionic, like scorpion, you know, energy where you're just paranoid or you're, you gotta confront your own obsessive feelings. You gotta confront your own obsessiveness, paranoia, compulsion. Because Scorpio and Capricorn, it's about control, self control. If you're obsessive, if you're compulsive, you are not in control. Some other, like the Godfather, something else is pulling your strings. Ooh, yeah, that should trigger you. You should want to break free. You should want to control yourself and, and steer your own energies. That's ultimate freedom. So whenever I say I want all of us to make it, that's what I mean. I want all of us to make it in the sense that we're all controlling ourselves. We're not being controlled by other people. Guilt trips, manipulations, ideologies that are to serve some other agenda. That's what I mean. And that's why the Artigan, we're all about truth, love, and integrity. And we have to be honest with ourselves about where we're not meeting that mark in our own lives and where we're allowing that to persist either through our relationships with ourself, with others in our fields of life, work, career, business, wherever this is happening for you. And I'll get more into that in, in the fuller presentation. Wow, that was a major digression. So the sun is going to shine that big, beautiful light and see, and we're gonna see every little thing. We're gonna notice every little, our, our spidey, we're all gonna have the little spidey senses. They're just, <laughs> picking up, you know, it's, you're going to feel it. You're not going to be able to not feel it. So don't try to suppress anything. Don't try to like with yourself, repress your energies, sexual repression, abstinence. If you're like making yourself suffer for some weird, don't no, that's just not, it's not, it's not going to work. That's not going to work. Don't go there. That's not going to, it's really not going to work. Scorpio ruled by Pluto and like I said, I got some great dates for you. There's about nine or ten great dates for you. The layers, I didn't even get into what I needed to tell you in this present, the ten minute part. The ten minute part, I'll make it real quick. I'm gonna go a little bit over. There's gonna be 
three different levels, layers. The first layer is going to be magma. I'm kidding. It's going to be learning, uncovering, and rewiring certain goals, objectives, and how you go about getting what you want, how you go about achieving your objectives. And I got dates for that. And then I got dates for the next layer, which is accepting. And there's this whole era, a little mini era of spirituality and how you um, kind of surrender and let go. And then the last layer, the very end, it like little cherry on top is going to be integrating everything that came to light, everything that you were learning into a foundation that you can stand on, that conviction and it's a maturity. It's about maturity and responsibility. So this is going to be exciting. I will, I will see you guys. I will see you on the flip side.